Hello, and welcome to EOU Banner Training. At the end of this session, additional reference links will be provided, such as the Aleutian Hub and EOU Knowledge Base. In Banner 9, there are a few terms you might find helpful. Most important is that a form in Banner 8 is now called a page in Banner 9. In this training, I will use Spaden Session Bar. In the Session Bar, we have the Menu button, Search, Recently opened, a link to the landing page, the current user, sign out, and the help button. Note, the help button will be disabled if you are not on an active page. The header bar allows us to close a page, see what page we are on, and allows us four buttons to use for that page. The four buttons are Add, Retrieve, Related, and Tools. Depending on each page, these buttons may or may not be active. In Tools, depending on which page you're on, certain tool items may or may not be active within it. Search Indicator. Certain pages require that you search for an object first and then begin using the page to manipulate data. In this case, I have searched for the Illusion Support User. In this area, it simply tells us that we are on that particular user what their ID and name is. If I wish to change users, I will need to use the Start Over button. Tab Bar. The Tab Bar is the major sections within the page. In this case, some of them are Current Identification, Alternative Identification. Each tab is a major section. Banner uses section for both this and the next feature. For now, consider the blue bar to be tabs. Moving down to the light gray bar, Identification. This is a section. You will note that Identification has four buttons, Insert, Delete, Copy, and Filter. Currently, those buttons are grayed out. This is because I am not actively selecting a field in that section. Move to the next section, Person. Person has the same four buttons. In this case, the buttons are active because in this section, all buttons are allowed to be active. It is also active because I currently have a last name selected. These are both sections. Each section acts independently of the other and the buttons will activate depending on which field you are selecting. Navigation bar. Towards the bottom, there is a gray bar. It has two navigational arrows, one for next section, previous section. This is where in Banner, both tabs and the gray area are called sections. However, the navigation will primarily work on the tabs when they are present. This means that this is a navigation for major sections. The navigation area also serves to show you which user last changed something about the current page. In this instance, the current record being shown was last changed on the given date by the given user. When you have made data changes and are ready to save them, you will need to click the Save button at the far bottom right of the navigation. When you save, your information will become the last active user, and the date and time in which you saved it will change the activity date. Not all pages record this information or will show it. Footer bar. At the bottom, the footer bar will show you if you are in an edit or non-edit mode, how many records are being used or displayed, and will give you detailed information about which field you are currently clicked on. Since I am currently clicked on last name, it is telling me that I am clicked on last name and gives me a hint as to which table I can find that data. To recap, the main areas of Banner 9 are the Session Bar, Header Bar, Sections, Navigational Bar, and Footer Bar. You can find more information at EOU's Knowledge Base by visiting the following link. For more information on Banner, you can also visit the Aleutian Hub. At the Aleutian Hub, you can search documentations, community forums, and see if others have had the same question as you. For help getting into your Aleutian account, visit the KB article at the link below. If you are not able to follow along, it could be that the account process has not finished. In order to gain access to Banner, you need to sign the permission forms and your supervisor will fill out what access you need. These forms are then processed to create your account. 
You can read more details at the following KB link.